What up, y'all? It's your girl, Tasha Kwan. We're back here with another episode of Royal Key. We are in Charlottesville, Virginia at the Palmer Park, and I have Leah Boggs here getting ready to show us around this awesome new facility. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys around. Yes. Okay, Palmer Park is historic in many ways, but tell us really why it's so historic. Yeah, so Palmer Park is actually named after a woman. So yeah. Lisa Palmer, she was a player at UVA and she is very big in the real world now okay, too. Yeah. So she has really given us the opportunity to have this beautiful facility and yeah. we're really grateful for her and all her contributions that she's given to this program. Yeah, that's huge. I think it's important too to have like a women's program at a women named park. So now we have this facility named after a woman, mm -hmm. a prominent woman, a, a, a former player, right? So this is great. How does it feel to be in a realm like that? Yeah, it's awesome. And I mean, Lisa Palmer still comes back and supports oh, us really? all the time. Okay, uh, great. Her mother, Fran, too, like they're huge supporters of UVA softball. They've actually come in here and given our team, you know, speeches about awesome. being a woman in yes. power. And I think that, you know, they've brought a lot to this game outside of the softball realm too. Like yeah. as people, we've learned a lot from her. Okay, so you guys have a really cool, fun tradition that you do every year. Talk about that. Yeah, so as you see on the wall here, we have pictures of our blue orange series champs. So okay. every year, the top two hitters and the top two pitchers of the fall get to pair up as team captains and they get to draft a team. Mm -hmm. So it's a blue orange inner squad. We play a five game series and at the end of the week, the winner of that five game series gets to customize a piece of gear that the other half of the team doesn't get. So okay. it's like a little competition. Yeah, that's cool, that's neat. I've never heard of anybody doing that. So I think that's really cool and enticing. Okay, so this is the roster wall. And this is nice, this is cool. So this changes every year obviously, but I like how it's just like everyone's headshot, everyone looks great. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, mine is from first year, so it feels a little outdated, <laughs> but I really think it is great to like have everybody out there. It makes you feel like you're a part of something. Okay, so you guys are the Cavaliers, but what's a who? Yeah, so it's a fun little story. Um, back in the day, we were playing a rival team and they called us Wahoos kind of as an insult. Okay. And we kind of embraced it as a whole university yeah. and now we shorten it to Who's. So okay. we are all diehard Who's here at UVA. So now we're in the team lounge, mm -hmm. which looks very comfortable, very homey. And so how does it feel to have something like this now when you didn't have it before? Yeah, it's actually really great. So I'm actually the first class to play a full season at Palmer Park. Okay, wow. Um, so when we committed to, to play here, this is like bigger than our wildest dreams. Yeah, like it is so. Exist. We usually come in here to hang out in between practices because we have different defensive groups. So okay. if you have time in between, you come watch TV, you can eat lunch in here. This is our nutrition station over here. All the snacks that we could ever want. We watch film together sometimes on different teams. So it's really just whatever we want to make of it. And we're really grateful to have it. Purpose, love, diligence, perspective. What are these? So these are our cornerstones. We come in, we want to have like a common goal and kind of a common way that we hold ourselves at UVA. So these are what we really pride ourselves in. So purpose is working with intent, love, speak truth, offer grace, yeah. diligence, no stone left unturned and perspective is see things from other angles. Okay. And we really kind of pride ourselves on our foundational principle is the power of choice. So you can choose whether you show up to practice every day with a positive attitude and right. embrace these cornerstones, or you can choose not to. And we want to choose every day to show up. Yeah, these cornerstones seem important. You have it yes. memorized to the T, so oh, they yeah. must teach you as soon as you step foot on that, that field. 
these words are very oh, important. Yeah. It's very important to us as a team, not yeah. even just as something that the coaches tell us that we need to yeah. know. It's something that we want to embrace. Okay, so we're in the crown jewel of the facility. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I personally didn't play at the park, but I know that the girls that did, they had a trailer. <laughs> oh, and Lord. they would change in the trailer. They would hang out in the trailer. It was, you know, very small space. Mm -hmm. and. Now we have all this space. We have all these resources. Yeah, um, it looks great. Man, it just feels good, right? Everyone has their own personal space. Mm -hmm. It's decked out. What else do you do in here? Yeah, so we have player-led meetings in here sometimes. So uh, we pride ourselves on being a player-led team. So I like that. the coaches don't really have to handle us. Yeah. We have to handle ourselves. Oh, and I love that. So to hold each other accountable, we kind of have a time set every week where we kind of get together as a team. We just talk about like what we want the week to look like. Like, yeah. um, how we think that we're gonna attack our goals and this is our place that we do it. Okay, so the softball girlies, y'all are in your own realm. You have your own mission statement. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so kind of going along with our cornerstones, we have a mission statement and it's just kind of how we wanna carry ourselves inside of softball and outside of softball. Yeah. And that mission statement is to be a beacon of the university by living with integrity, compassionate service, fearless pursuit of development, competing for championships and bringing good into the world. Okay, so now we're in the recovery room and this is where you guys recover you know we got the cold tubs weights what else goes on in here yeah so this is our training room it's really great to have it in our own facility yeah. before you know girls had to hike across campus to go to rehab and we have our own trainer Alden he's here like all the time so if we need to come in and you know stretch out or something yeah. it helps us feel good and be able to play our best Okay, so now we're in the PDC yes. and explain what goes down in here. Yeah, so this is our player development center okay. and it's our batting cages. Pitchers get to come in here and throw bullpens. We sometimes can pull all these cages back and have a live pitcher versus hitter kind okay. of scrimmage, which is really helpful on days like today where it's like rainy and exactly. when it gets cold and it's snowing. There's a lot of things that we can do in here. We work out in here. There's hack machines, which we practice with on the daily, which they're hitters' worst nightmare, but oh, also no. best friend okay. because they make you better. But. Yeah. yeah, you guys have, seem to have a lot of new like equipment and technology mm -hmm. that has helped you for games. Yes. Explain a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have Ethel, which Ethel. is our new machine okay. that can throw all kinds of sequences, which means that like, if we're playing a team and we know they throw a curveball, rise ball, change up, yeah. then we can program Ethel to oh, wow. throw those exact pitches like that player wow. and practice, and practice hitting curveball, rise ball, change up sequences. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's like game changing, literally. Yeah, it is. And we're really grateful to have technology like yeah. that to help us prepare. Man, thank you so much for showing us this awesome facility. It feels so great to have women's sports in their own facility, right? Mm -hmm. And this is brand you know, built in 2020, pretty much brand new. You've been here the whole time. I got to play my whole career here and it was awesome. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you so much again. Yeah, thank you.